everybody, it's Stephanie and Briley back again this week for our final April installment of Intro to Welding DIY videos. And this week we got a special request from My Grammy B. We got a three-tiered diamond shelf. There we go. So um, this week I'm going to kind of let Briley take the reins as much as possible on this one when it comes to uh, using the clamps, helping with layout, and uh, situating the actual angles of the MIG gun and stuff to uh, complete the welds. Today we're going to be working with 20 gauge steel and quarter inch round rod. For this project, you're going to need to cut three rectangles out of that sheet. And one of the rectangles is going to be six and a half by 20. Then you're going to have two that are six and a half by nine. The round rod, you're going to need two 20 inch pieces. You're going to need four nine inch pieces, eight 20 and a half inch pieces, and then eight six and a half inch pieces. To start today's project, my mom and I laid out our diamond shape on our table. This diamond is 36 by 20 inches wide. So what we did was we took out our four foot square, we squared it up on the table, found 36 inches, marked uh, the top and bottom there, found our center, went out 10 inches from each side, uh, making sure that it is square off the center. And now we have locations of each point of our diamond so that when we go to set up uh, and weld out both diamond shapes, we know they're going to be identical. Now we're going to take four of our 20 and a half inch pieces and line them up to the diamond that we just sketched up. I secured all four sides of the diamond and now it's time for me to weld her up. Now we're going to take the last four 20 and a half inch pieces, repeating the process and laying out the next diamond. The next step after you've gotten your two diamonds welded out, you're going to take those two 20 inch pieces and you're going to lay them through the center of both of the diamonds. Make sure when you do this, you tack either end down, that way they don't lift and they don't pull at all, and weld them out, and then we're gonna set the next two shelves. Once you've welded in those 20 inch pieces through the center of your diamond, you're gonna take these nine inch pieces, and in both the diamonds, you're gonna measure on both sides of center you're going to measure 10 and a half inches down. Uh, this should then have that nine inch piece fitting uh, nicely across. After putting all of our base marks around the diamond, next thing we wanna do before we just go ahead and slam some tacks on there, we wanna make sure that these things are actually gonna sit in their level and look nice and match each other. So basically, you're just using those marks as a point of reference. What you're gonna do is you're gonna measure off that center and you're gonna find and make sure you're gonna tack one side and then make sure the other side matches. You're probably gonna have to adjust these anywhere from a 16th to an eighth, depending you know, on how much things push or pull and then resetting your clamps. welded all of our supports in for our shelves. Before we go and put those standoffs in uh, for the sides that is going to have it kind of, you know, floating apart, uh, we want to make sure we, we go ahead and take a flapper wheel to everything. This is going to be a lot more difficult once we have it all fully welded up to uh, hit some of those spots. Flapper wheeled both of the diamonds, making sure that they both are mirror images of each other before going on to this next step. Uh, you're going to take those final six and a half inch pieces of round rod and at each point that you've welded around your diamond, you're going to set these at a 90 degree angle, checking for squareness, of course, before placing that top piece on. small little tack on them because you got to remember these are going to move a little bit and shift as they cool so when we go to put this top piece on 
You might notice that some of them might not be as square as you recall when you used your square to put them on in the first place. Um, so if they did shift a little bit, you're going to want to have some flexibility there. Uh, now it's just time to line these up, make sure they're square on the other side, and then we can weld the whole thing out. time to put in the shells. Now the longer one is obviously going to be placed in the middle and then these two smaller sections that you've cut are going to go on the top and bottom. We've got our shelves in place. Now the only thing left to do is prep and paint. Here's our shelf all painted and ready to go hang on Grammy B's wall in her new house. Uh, we had a lot of fun making these videos this past month, and we really hope to be making bigger and better projects in the future to share with you all. And I hope that we inspired you to get out of your house and in